A stolen school bus, a police chase that lasted nearly an hour. It is a bizarre story that crossed state lines and ended near Shelbyville. WRTV's Meredith Hackler walks us through what happened and shows us the damage this chase left behind. These tracks are where a 50 minute long police chase ended involving this school bus, which was stolen from Ohio. It's not normal. I mean, we don't have school bus pursuits very often, if ever. And I think this is the first one I can recall. Police began this bus chase in Batesville, Indiana. They were able to find the bus by tracking its GPS. See if we can find a culvert on this route to get stop six across it so they can't be around it. The wheels on the bus came to a stop in Shelby County after damaging property and police cars along the way. Between boxing them in and the, the bus not being mobile due to losing a couple of tires, um, that's what ultimately led to the, the bus coming to a stop. Several people across Indiana witnessed the multi-county chase, including Mike and Sandy Paws. My mother-in-law counted 17 law enforcement vehicles that had that were in hot pursuit, I guess, because they all had sirens going and everything, and it was pretty crazy. And when the pauses found out a school bus was the vehicle police were chasing. What in the world's a guy doing trying to outrun the police in a bus? Because that's not going to work well. Despite the long nature of this pursuit, police say because school buses drive at lower speeds, they were able to keep the public safe. The nice thing is that if that vehicle's not able to drive 100 miles an hour like a normal passenger car was. So, you know, we felt the, the danger to the public um, and the area we were was very rural. Um, and so it was, it, you know, we didn't feel like there was an extreme danger to the public. In Shelby County. Nice little quiet community out here in the middle of nowhere, Shelby County. Uh, got, got a little crazy today. Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Well, the bus was part of a training exercise, so there weren't any children on board. The suspect is being held in the Decatur County Jail facing multiple charges tonight. Indiana State Police say if your property was damaged in this pursuit, to call them and let them know.